All right, my friends, let's get started. We're going to do our at-home facial, and we are going to be using the Eminence Organic Skin Care System, which is from Hungary, and it has been in existence since 1958. This is a beautiful, beautiful line. The first product I am using is their Firm Skin Asahi Cleanser. This has a botanical hyaluronic acid. It is for anti-aging, a normal dry skin type. Uh, this is a beautiful, very creamy, luxurious cleanser. This whole line is a considered a luxury organic line. So the first step I do is I do, I use a cleanser and I will then incorporate my Clarisonic into it. So you will need to have a little bit of water. I use the Fiji water just because it is a very clean water and I don't want to contaminate any of this beautiful skin care. So I'm going to take a little bit of water in a dish or bowl and I'm going to start from there just dipping my Clarisonic head into it and using my Clarisonic as I normally would. However, I do not use it for the full length that the time is set for. I just do a quick once over because my skin is already clean so I'm just exfoliating a little bit. Well I'm cleansing with a light exfoliation because I don't believe that the Clarisonic does a super crazy exfoliation and if you can't use the Clarisonic then you simply uh, skip this step and remove the cleanser. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Clarisonic and you're going to listen to the lovely music. Okay, so we are finished with that step. Our next step is going to be to take some warm cloths. And I have mine in a crock pot. They are, uh, I pre-moisten them and then I put them in my crock pot to keep them warm. Uh, and from here I will simply take them and remove the Firm Skin Asahi Cleanser from my face. And usually one or two cloths is enough for this. There's no need to pull. Uh, on your skin. It does look like I am, but that's just because I'm in a video and everything is a little bit exaggerated from uh, your point of view and looking at me. Um, and you can use microfiber here or you can use the Turkish towels that I prefer. Uh, these are very soft cotton and I like them because I cannot handle the feel of wet microfiber on my hands. So I'm going to continue here and you're going to listen to lovely music. Okay, so our face is thoroughly cleansed, and now I'm going to use the Neroli Age Corrective Hydrating Mist. This is a natural retinal alternative. It is for all skin types, and this one you simply shake well before using and cleanse the skin. Apply one or two sprays to the face. Uh, you can use a cotton pad. For my facials, I prefer to spray, but you can put it on a cotton uh, pad and wipe it off. I prefer to spray it and press it into the skin. Alright, so now we are going to move on to our exfoliation and this is the Yam Pumpkin Enzyme Peel and it has um, a natural exfoliation because it is a pumpkin enzyme and this helps to increase collagen and it just helps the radiance of the skin because it exfoliates all the dead skin cells off. I like this mask a lot. I actually owned this 
uh, before they sent me all of the products. I have also had facials professionally by the Eminence line, and it is one spectacular uh, professional facial. So here I am just going to massage this in lightly. It smells just like pumpkin, a spicy pumpkin cookie, and it really has a nice feel to it. There are no grains in it. It is simply a pumpkin uh, enzyme. There may be a slight, slight abrasive feel, uh, but nothing like the normal grains that you feel in exfoliating products. So this is going to stay on our skin for 10 minutes. I'm going to take advantage of some breathing here just to help relax my body and my mind, you know, because I have one of those rapid, my brain never shuts off. It's the reason I can't sleep well at night. Anyway, uh, take a moment to just inhale and smell that wonderful pumpkin. So now they also sent me their Lip Trio kit, and in it there is, the first step is a Citrus Enzyme Lip Exfoliator. So I'm going to go ahead and use this while I am allowing the pumpkin enzyme to exfoliate um, my face. And this will help, this exfoliator for your lips helps with dryness and also your lip lines. Alright, so it has been 10 minutes, my friends, and I am again taking a warm cloth, and these are all new fresh ones. I make sure I have at least 20 in the crock pot, and I'm going to remove the pumpkin yam enzyme mask as well as the lip exfoliator, and we will then move on to our next step. Alright, if you notice off to the right there, uh, I have started my steamer. I want to get the steam going while I remove the excess off my skin from the yam, pumpkin yam, uh, yam enzyme mask. Uh, I am using the Dr. Dennis Gross, the newer version of his steamer, and I love it. This gives you about 8 to 10 minutes of steaming, which is perfect. And... Uh, I take advantage of the steaming and I'm just making sure that I have all the residue from the mask and the lip exfoliation off of my face before I move on to the steaming and now while I'm steaming I try to relax again with the breathing however don't exhale too hard through your nostrils yes, that's nostrils uh, it's a made-up word uh, because you'll blow the steam all around so let the steam just gently pour onto your skin this helps to believe it or not moisturize my friends and it also helps to soften the pores so that if you do have any extractions it's much easier now I am not going to do extractions in this video. Uh, I do have a full length video that you can watch how I do those things. All right, so my steaming is done. I fast forwarded a little. And now I'm just examining my skin to see if I do need any extractions. And of course, I probably could use, I could have done a little bit around my nose area, but um, I'm not for this video purpose. I think that extractions can be dangerous. For some people, there is a certain way to do it. You come up underneath the pore. You don't just take your fingernails and go for it. All right, so now I'm taking some warm cloth again, and I'm just going to lay it onto my skin. And this is just kind to kind of, it's for more relaxation, and it's just to uh, get most of the moisture off of my skin because I am going to go in with a, an oil now to do my massage. When massaging, make sure that the oil you are using has a really good slip. Now, I did want to stay with the Eminence line, so I am going to use their Rosehip Triple CE Firming Oil for my massage, and um, it doesn't really have the slip. I really like to do my full massage, but I'm going to just do a very simple massage here. And a massage can be very relaxing. It uh, stimulates blood circulation, and it helps, uh, if you do it in a proper way, to get rid of extra water buildup, and it helps to rid uh, the body of toxin, any type of massage, where you're involving the lymphatic system. So I have applied the rosehip 
triple CE firming oil. Now this is an oil that you would use as your treatment oil if you decide to use some of the eminence line. I might need, I also want to mention that these are cruelty free uh, and they are vegan I believe. Let me see if we have the little bunny rabbit. Uh, let's see. It, it, these are organic, natural, biodynamic, sustainable, cruelty-free, uh, parabens, phthalates, sodium laureth, sulfate, glycol, and animal testing free, which is what cruelty-free means. I'm sorry about the phone there. And okay, so I'm continuing on with the massage. I focus on lymphatic draining here a little bit and then just a, just a little bit of massage to help you know stimulate blood flow and then I will do a little bit of pressure point and we will go on from there. So after our massage, I'm going to take some warm cloths and I'm going to wrap them around my neck and around my face. And this is just to remove the excess oil from the massage. You don't really need to remove this oil because it is a treatment oil, but if you were using a different oil, I would definitely remove it. And for a facial, I would remove it. But if you're using it on a regular basis as a an oil serum you would not remove it you would allow it to stay on the skin so we're just going to continue on with this for a few minutes and we will carry on from there
so our skin is ready for our mask and today I'm using one of their most popular it's the bamboo age corrective mask again this is a retinal alternative and uh, I need to mention that Eminence has a very extensive skincare line for all skin types a lot of their products are so concentrated that you can put just a tiny dab of water in them to emulsify them a little. It does not affect the performance of the product. So I'm going to apply this mask onto my skin and I'm just putting it on. Uh, you can go in a circular motion or any way you choose to put a mask on. Circular motion is good. And this one has your Swiss green apple stem cell, uh, cell technology. It's um, you keep this one on the skin. I don't know if I hold my hands up here, but I think it's five to ten minutes that this one stays on. And I do go down my neck and my chest. And the reason why you see redness on me is not, it has nothing to do with the products here. It has everything to do with the warm towels. And we are going to move on to the second part of the lip treatment. And this is the Lip Comfort Plumping Mask. And I'm just going to apply it and leave it on for the duration of the mask. And if you're using this mask on its own, I would leave it on for at least five minutes. Uh, I would do the exfoliating, put the mask on, and then there is a lip balm that you, is used after this. All right, so I'm going to allow this mask to sit now for 10 minutes. I wanted to take a moment just to introduce you to another mask that was also sent to me and I do love and it smells fabulous. It is their Firm Skin Asahi Mask, again with botanical hyaluronic acid for normal to dry skin types. So now I'm just going to remove this mask, again with warm cloths, and just remove it gently and um, we will move on from there, my friends. So next step will be our eye serum, and this is the Neroli Age Corrective Eye Serum. It, again, is a natural retinal alternative, and this one is for all skin types, especially mature skin. So I'm just applying the serum around my eyes, and make sure that you get those crow's feet, my ladies. Uh, and you're just applying a thin layer of this to the eye area in very light stroking movements and I will tap at the end because you know I am a firm believer of tapping product in. I'm just doing a little bit more lymphatic draining here because I do suffer terribly from puffiness and that does help. So again I'm tapping the excess of the eye serum into my eye. Alright so now we're going to move on to another one of their um, very, uh, this is highly rated. It is the Bamboo Firming Fluid, and it's for normal to dry skin types, especially mature skin. It has bamboo, a nat natural retinal alternative. It has the Fito Celtex Swiss Green Apple. It has coconut wa water, monoi, carrot extract. You know I love the carrot extract. And neroli oil, which is very refreshing and hydrating. Um, and of course, everybody knows that coconut moisturizes and softens the skin. Uh, the Manoi is a very hydrating, but it also firms. And then their green apple plant stem cell is a concentrate which rejuvenates the appearance of the skin. So we now will move on to their hyaluronic acid. And you know that I love hyaluronic acid. Theirs is a strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic serum. Have I mentioned that they all smell delicious? I'm going to take uh, the full dropper and I'm just going to apply it to my skin. And this will draw moisture from the, ha uh, the air. This is also a vegan friendly and it's derived from a marshmallow plant. It's rich in vitamins, strawberries, rhubarb, and it's loaded with healing and hydrating powers. 
and of course it helps to add a plumpiness to the skin. So I really love that and as you can tell it smells fabulous. So the last step we are going to do in our facial is of course the moisturizer and again take a very small amount, add just a dab, a little drop of water to it, emulsify it in your hands and apply. I used a little bit too much. It looks like these are small bottles for or jars but this is very concentrated and like I said you can emulsify it just a small amount with water to um, help it along. It doesn't need any help, but you can see I used way too much. And this is the Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer. Again, they all have the natural retinal alternative uh, in them. Alright, so that is the end of our facial and I always like to do a light tapping. It just kind of refreshes you after the actual sedative. Hopefully you were ready to fall asleep during your facial. Anyway, uh, we have completed this facial. I'm just going to add the final step of the lip trio and that is the lip balm and is very nice. I think my skin looks very 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 good. I think massages or facials for the skin along with a massage is very very healthy for the skin. So I will list and link everything below. I want to thank Eminence for this wonderful treat and I want to thank all of you for stopping by. Don't forget subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful and most of all my friends lovable. I love you all. Bisous.